Hey everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day and doing well. Red here and welcome to a brand new video where we're going to explain a very easy way how you can install mods like the Dune 2 Remaster mod for Command & Conquer 3 as well as mods for Red Alert 3 on Windows 11. Now I've made a video like this in the past where I explain how to install mods for those games on Windows 10 but recently I updated my PC to Windows 11 and I had a couple of people reach out to me and ask how do you install mods on Windows 11. So all of the links that I'm going to mention is in the description below if you guys want to follow along and this is like I said a very easy way how you can use mods on Red Alert 3 as well as Command & Conquer 3. But first, I'd want to let you know that I'm collaborating with Demise on a new campaign for their upcoming clothing collection. These clothes include hoodies, t-shirts, hats, beanies and much more with a discount link included in the description below. You'll also be a part of the early bird campaign where you can win up to £300 worth of merchandise and it's worth noting that they provide free worldwide delivery in addition to the sponsorship. This early bird campaign is only valid for the first 300 orders, so act quickly and as I said, links are provided in the description below. Thanks again to Demise and now back to the video. So firstly in this video I'm going to use the method where I have Command & Conquer installed via the EA Origin Store but this will work similarly if you have Command & Conquer in Steam. Now as you can see here on EA Origin I have The Sims 4 and I have Command & Conquer 3 as well as Kane's Wrath installed on the, the EA Origin Store. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend obviously that you do is just make sure you own the game and download it. Make sure it's up to date. It's very important. The game has to be up to date and completely downloaded before you move on to the next step and use the actual mods in the game. Once your game is installed and updated, the next thing you're going to do is of course choose which mod you want to download. Now for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use the Dune 2 Remaster mod for Command & Conquer 3 Tabiri Moors as it was actually recently updated where Sandworms was added to the map and I have not played the updated version so it should be really interesting to see how the updated version of the game looks and how the sandworms look in this mod. So you're gonna go to mod.db or moddb.com, excuse me, not mod.db, but moddb.com, find Command & Conquer 3 or Red Alert 3, whichever games mods you want to use, and then there will be a download button where you download the zipped version of the mod. Once you have extracted the mod, you'll see on your PC that there will be two files, a .big and a dot skudef or skudf however you want to pronounce that that file but there will be two files you're going to need both files generally the big file is going to be uh, the bigger file no pun intended and that is necessary to run the mod so once these two files is extracted then you're ready to move on to the next step next you're going to want to go to your documents folder where all your save data is normally saved and what you're going to do is you're going to create a folder say cnc mods so you can make it lowercase uppercase as long as it says cnc mods and inside that you're going to make a folder based on the game that's mods you are downloaded so in this case i downloaded mods for tabiri moors so i make a folder called tabiri moors and inside that i'm going to make another folder for the specific mod that I downloaded. So in this case, I downloaded the mod for Dune 2, so I'm gonna say Dune 2 Remaster. So that is the folder within the Tiberium Wars folder, which is within the CNC mods folder, which is within my documents. Once that is done, you're basically going to copy or cut these two files that you downloaded of the mod and go back to the folder that you had just created within your Command & Conquer folder. So I'm gonna go back into the Dune 2 Remaster folder and I'm going to paste this here, give it a couple of seconds, and then you'll see that your mod is almost ready to go. There's just one more file that you're going to need to download. That file is the Command & Conquer 3 mod launcher, which also works for Red Alert 3. Now, as I said, I will leave a link to all of this in the description below and in the pinned comment, which you can just follow and then download from there. And all you're going to do is you're going to press this button, Download Release version 1.3. Just click that download and the file will automatically download. As you can see I'm on my desktop right now and here is the files that I just downloaded from that link. Now it's going to take a couple of seconds for the for the mod installer to basically activate itself so 
it may take 30 seconds to one minute. So once this is downloaded, just double click on it and give it some time. It might, you might give this issue, say Windows protected your PC and you might say don't run, but you're gonna say more info. It's gonna give this and you're gonna say run anyway. Now, as I said, it might take some time, so just give it around 30 seconds to one minute. Just don't do anything, don't restart your PC or don't freak out, don't think it froze, don't try and double click it again. It's gonna look as if nothing is running, but it's gonna take around, like I said, 30 seconds to one minute for the executable to start running, for the file to start you know, running the mod. So like I said, just give it a couple of seconds and then you'll see a pop-up in any moment. Alright, so on my PC it took roughly a minute for this to appear and then you'll see that there is a pop-up screen CNC3 mod launcher and there will be the mods directory. You'll see it says located at users, frank, desktop, uh, documents, and CNC mods and this is where I installed the Dune or where I copied the Dune 2 remaster uh, mods. Now of course I don't have any mods downloaded for Kane's Wrath. Of course if you have downloaded mods for that then you will um, install it, you will find it there, or if you installed Red Alert 3 and you downloaded mods, then of course you'll have its own directory and then you'll have more options here where it says Red Alert 3. Now in this case, I'm gonna go for the uh, Dune 2 Remaster mod. You can say play vanilla where you can play the base game, but I wanna play the mod, so I'm gonna click Dune 2 Remaster and then you click the button Play Mod. Just give it a couple of seconds and then the Command & Conquer pop-up should appear. And then of course, because it's not a Kane's Wrath mod, it's a Tiberium Wars mod, I'm gonna click Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars and just give it a couple of seconds, the game or the mod in this case should launch. And hopefully it works the first time that I'm trying this because I am, like I said, doing this on Windows 11 and this is the first time that I'm actually doing this on Windows 11, so So it seems the game is launching as it should. Hopefully it won't crash to the desktop because that will be pretty unfortunate. But I know this mod doesn't overhaul the menu or anything like that. This is just a skirmish mod and everything looks normal until you're in the game. So here you can see GDI nod. Um, it seems like nothing has changed, but once you once you go into the game, you'll see that GDI is actually, uh, I believe it's the Atreides and nod is Harkonnen. So if I go to play, you will see in a second that the Artradius should load. Yes, there you can see on the side panel power plant, you can see their armory, tech center, command post, airfield. You can see there's everything, the turret is there. All the, um, the buildings are there as it should. There's the wind traps, power plants in this case, but it should be wind traps. And there's the, the spice is there in the center as well. So this is the Artradius. If I exit the game, let me exit here. I do want to exit, skip this, uh, continue. I'm going to choose Nod in this case, which should be Harkonnen. Make it red just for, you know, the sake of being red. And then everything should load. Yes, there you can see this Harkonnen symbol on the right hand side. And that is an easy and simple way how you get the mods to work in, um, in Windows 11. Uh, like I said, I had a couple of people asking me about this because they weren't sure how to get the mods to work. Like I said, everything is in the pinned comment and the description below if you guys want to check it out yourselves. And I will definitely play this updated version. Like I said, I've not, not played the updated version of this Dune 2 Remastered mod, but that is just one of many, many mods in Command & Conquer 3 as well as Red Alert 3 that you can download from moddb.com. And again, this is the easy way how you can install mods in Windows 11. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any trouble, then let me know in the comments and I will try to help you out the best that I can. But until next time, let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave, give me a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate and support the channel. Until next time, my name is Frank. I'm the Red Tie Guy. And frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.